You know, if you think about this as a court case, something in the environment is causing diabetes and heart disease and obesity. We don't know what it is. Maybe it's just that people eat too much. Maybe it's that we're not physically active enough. Maybe it's a dietary fat. Maybe it's a sugar. For more than 40 years, you know, probably longer, this industry, it appears, has been deceiving. We have never, throughout human history, been exposed to the levels of sugar intake that, that we're currently exposed to. So this has got to have consequences. What happened? Why is everybody in trouble now, all over the world? How is it that we're still debating whether there's a relationship between sugar consumption and diabetes? And this reminds me a lot of tobacco executives saying, I believe with nicotine is not addictive. Where we are in the sugar debate is about where the tobacco debate was in about 1960. They're all using the same playbook, that they're manipulating science, that they're coming in pretending to be everybody's best friend, but they have a very strong political agenda to protect their corporate interests. This is certainly the first obesity conference where a sugar sweetened beverage company and a fast food company have sponsored the summit. A lot of people this morning have said to me, why are you here? And gee, it's awfully courageous of you to be here. Is it possible that sugar is toxic? How we manifest love and happiness, and now you go after sugar, which is something that we give our one-year-olds on their first birthday. It's not that simple to know what the right thing is.